Gators, I'm Jordan. And I'm Michaela. Just a reminder that if you sign up to take the PERT test, it will be taken on March 19th after school. If you need more information or are interested in taking dual enrollment classes, make sure to talk to your counselor. Do you like kickball, Jordan? Yeah, I do. Well, did you know that there's going to be a LOLHS kickball game on May 11th? If you want to play, check out more information at your school email. If you're planning on inviting someone who does not attend our school to prom, make sure you submit your guest form before April 1st. No exceptions. Check your emails for the forms. Gators, Grand Bash bus sign-up is coming up and will open on March 18th. Please sign up for a bus during all lunches in the Commons on March 18th and March 21st. Students are not permitted to drive to Universal. On the topic of Universal, Phoebe went to Universal's Mardi Gras last weekend, and this is her review of the event. What's up Gators? Over the weekend, I visited or Universal Orlando's Mardi Gras event. This event is inspired by the real Mardi Gras in New Orleans, Louisiana. Universal did a pretty good job replicating it. They have a lot of fun stuff, like food stands from around the world. Street performers and decorations. And actual concerts. I had the chance to see Ava Max and Queen Latifah. also have a parade like the actual Mardi Gras in New Orleans, Louisiana. Overall, Universal Mardi Gras was a great experience. I definitely recommend if you're looking for a fun party environment. That was interesting. Nicole, Daniel, Ray, and Sawyer did a soda challenge with some baseball and softball players. What's up Gators? Today I'm here with Kirsten. Kirsten's a senior at Land Lakes High School and she's been on the varsity softball team for four years now. Today we are blind taste testing sodas and they're going to try to guess what soda is what. First up, we have this one. Mountain Dew. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> I like it in those Dr. Pepper. Okay, was the first one Publix or the second one? The second one. The second one was Publix? Yeah. Okay. And what drink is it? Um. Coke? <laughs> Sprite? <laughs> it tastes like Sprite. Bruh. The first one was Publix? Okay. Next. <laughs> Fancy. Which <laughs> one public and which one's not public? Um, the first one was public. <laughs> Mountain Dew. The second one was public. <laughs> so Kirsten clearly does not drink soda. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alright, what's up guys? I'm here with Cody Gordon. Now Cody, are you ready? I'm born ready. Alright, let's do this. Here's your first soda. <sighs> Good old orange crush. One for one. <laughs> Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> that was Publix. That one, that one was Publix. Yeah. It was Mountain Dew. <laughs> okay. Coke. Huh? <laughs> Coke. Publix, first one. Oh, uh, real. It was Tota? I know that one. Dr. Pepper. <laughs> this is a real one. Bruh. Okay. Oh, I'm a, I'm a troll. If I reverse, this is Dr. Pepper. That's Coke. Real Dr. Pepper. Yeah! What do you think you did? <laughs> Solid. <laughs> Solid. <laughs> Good job. Appreciate it. Hey, Gators. I'm Daniel, and this is McKenna. And she plays volleyball. And nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Daniel, and this is Eve Garrett. And you play <laughs> golf. <laughs> Pardon? You just 
bruh. Okay, which one was public and which one was real? Second one was beer root. First one. Here's Nick's. Coke. Okay. Are the real or the fake? Fake. Also smells like root beer. It's like the Coke freestyles. Yeah. You just put different flavors in all my root beer. It's root beer. That's an oaky afterbirth. <laughs> Eve Garrett, how do you think you did? Amazing, what? Post game interview. I didn't take 100 shots and I've made 100 shots. <laughs> God. There's a baseball game today versus Mitchell at home. On Tuesdays, the softball team plays at Zephyr Hills. Make sure to support your Gators. Pop out! That was fun. I'm surprised some didn't even guess the sodas correctly, let alone which brand is which. Some of those guesses were really bad. Now on to Izzy and Hunter with bad dating advice from students. What's up Gators, I'm Izzy. And I'm Hunter. And today we went around asking you guys the worst dating advice you've ever received. Let's get into that. I'm Christy. Okay, what is the worst dating advice you've ever received and why? Trusting boys, because boys are cheaters. I'm Anaya. Probably if you like him, be mean to him, and I think that's a bad idea because like, if you like him, you shouldn't be mean to him. I'm Gabe. The worst dating advice that I've ever received is people talking to me and my partner about our dating issues because they just always want to be a ball in our business. Hi, I'm Naima. The worst dating advice I've received is not telling my partner when I have a problem with them because it just creates more problems in the future and they just keep repeating behavior that you don't like. Hi, my name is Nick. What? The worst dating advice I've ever received was to go after people from different schools because I feel like that takes away the time that you can be with that person and it also takes away time that y'all could be enjoying stuff together. Hi, my name is Marianne. Um, I got told to go talk to other guys because my man was mad at me. Um, that's not a good idea at all because he would have gotten more mad at me for talking to other guys. Well, I'll make sure to keep that in mind for next time. Now that was something interesting. Now back to our anchors. That's some great advice. Stay tuned next week for another episode. Okay. Okay.